What's up lovers? How are you doing today? Today I am making a video about how to make the bitch ask you out. Yes, you. 99% of these women are gonna ask you out if you say this one thing. One, one little thing. I know today it's gonna be very simple. You say one thing, the bitch is like, you wanna go out? Yes. Can I take you home? I mean, she's not gonna go that far or maybe, who knows. But she will at least ask you out. Because you know, for the longest, you guys have been in charge of approaching, asking out, and therefore women have been in charge of denying applications. Yes, rejecting you guys. So today I'm like, why? This has to fucking stop. It's only fair that bitches also get rejected. It's only fair. So today I'm gonna let you know the one thing you need to say to a bitch, to a woman, and um, that she's gonna be like, okay, can I take you out? Do you wanna go out with me? Yes. All right. So before I start, I created a Patreon, a www.patreon.com slash Melly Monaco. So if you guys want to go check me out over there, you let me know. You go on there. You don't let me know. You go on there and then you send me a little message. So let's be honest, guys, before we start about this. Let's be honest. You guys have met some assertive women and you guys have turned them down. I've been turned down. I've been approaching men and they turned me down. And I think, I think my theory about that is that you guys are hunters. You don't want a bitch to come and fucking be like, yo, what's up? You know, maybe that's not your thing. You feel like you want to chase the bitch. You're the hunter. So you got to hunt for your food. I get that. So I stop. I stop because my success rate was very low. And I was like, oh, them fuckers don't like me talking to them. So, so I kind of stopped. I can understand that some men would have seen me as like not feminine enough. And maybe I was too masculine because I was approaching. So I retired. So now I'm the perfect proof of because I was assertive and uh, shooting my shot. Now you will not catch me shooting my shot. So a lot of women that were assertive and that would go for you and be like yo what's up now we're just chilling we're chilling waiting to be picked because you know it hasn't worked for us so now women like me we don't make the first move no more we we learn our lesson but if you have a girl that you know she's not my type and she's not the type that's gonna come and shoot her shot today i'm gonna tell you how to with this one thing now she's gonna be the one that's gonna make the first move watch so that's the drums. I can't do the drums. So, give her fucking permission. This is the thing. Give her permission. We're scared. They're scared. Because I wasn't. They're scared to be rejected. Therefore, they're not going to come. You know, when you reject a woman, we're going to think right away, well, he didn't like me because I wasn't pretty. Right there. That's what she's going to think. And then for them, being rejected is like the end of the world. Oh my God, I get rejected. Can you believe that? But they're expecting you to be rejected left and right and be okay with it. It's nothing. You'll be fine. You know, fucking bitch. Sorry. So guy, if you like a girl and you don't know how to ask her out and you do want her to fucking ask you, you got to let her know that it is okay for her to be a little more in her masculine energy and actually ask you out. That just becomes logical at this point. If me, I received positive outcome about shooting my shot and guys were like, oh yeah, let's do it. You know, I would have kept going because I'm like, it works. But now I see it doesn't work. So I sit back, relax and don't do shit. That's logical. Okay, so let me give you an example. Let's say there is a girl that you're feeling, but you don't know if she's feeling you like that, but you guys are cool. You guys talk and stuff. So what you need to do is start conversation with her and tell her about your dating life. Ask her about her dating life, what app she uses, what app you're on or whatever. And then tell her a little story, maybe. Or just tell her some shit like, you know what, this girl asked me out and I loved it. I love women who take initiative. You telling her that if the bitch likes you, she's gonna be like, oh, okay. So I can actually be a little more assertive, a little more aggressive and a little more uh, dominant with him because he actually enjoys it. So now you plant the seed in her head that if she comes and shoots her shot at you, she's going to be Gucci. You're not going to reject her. You're not going to see her as thirsty or anything. And actually you're going to appreciate it. Women want you to appreciate what they do. So if you told her that 
she's gonna be like, okay, it's safe, I can do it. Right there, you are giving her permission to be assertive. Or you can even say, yeah, this girl made the first move on me and I found that very sexy. Yes. You can frame it whatever you want, but the point you're trying to get across is that to you, it's attractive when a bitch comes and tell you, yo, I like you, what's up? Or yo, let's go on a date. You know, you like that shit. So you gotta let her know that it's something that you're into. Also, if she's the type that don't do that, she don't shoot her shot or nothing, she's gonna let you know because right there, you kinda told her that you are kind of like interested. She might respond, well, you know, I really love when the men make the first move because that's, you know, then you respond to her and you tell her, so you are telling me that if I wanted to take you out, you would expect me to ask you. Make sure when you answer that, you look at her with good eye contact, like nice eyes, a little like mystery in the eyes with a smirk, straight in the eyes and see what she says. She's going to let you know right there if she's interested or not. So that's it right there. What you did pretty much is just you gave her permission. You told her how you feel about a certain situation. And now it's up to her to make the move. I am telling you, if a dude, you know, is unsure about me and I'm unsure and whatever. And then he tells me, yo, I think that's so sexy when women do it. I don't care. I'm doing it then. I'm like, oh, he likes it. Okay, well, let's go. You know, when are we going out then? You know, it's just going to happen organically. It's not even going to be awkward. If the girl already liked you she's gonna ask but i guess this technique you use it if you're not sure if the girl is feeling you like that so then you'll get your answer with whatever she answers yes so right there you'll never get rejected again because you didn't shoot your shot she knows if she wants to shoot your shot at you it's wide open no blocking no nothing so if she doesn't do it Maybe she's not interested. And if she's not the type of girl that's doing it, she's going to tell you, yeah, I prefer my man to actually like, you know, make the first step. So then, you know, it's, it's the window. It's a little, it's a little open for you. Yes. All right. So that's all I have for you today. I hope you like, share, comment. I hope that you are going to subscribe to my Patreon at www.patreon.com slash and you can also follow me on Instagram at manylovexo and at manylovexo. Yes, guys, you are not going to get rejected no more. Like, Fuck this shit. Enough is fucking enough. Yes. All right, guys, I love you. <laughs> Remember that you are awesome. Fuck them bitches. The bad ones, fuck them. And literally and figuratively. And, um, but you don't tell them. You don't say them. Beep, beep. I don't know. That's the zipper. Zzz. Close. All right, <laughs> guys. Good day.